How Raven Stole the Sun Story by Maria Williams Illustrations by Felix Vigil A long time ago, Raven, or Yeil, was pure white from the tips of his claws to the ends of his wings. He was very striking, like fresh snow in winter. This was so long ago that there were no stars, no moon, and no sun. People lived in total darkness, and their only light was from campfires. Raven was concerned about this. The stars, moon, and sun were kept in large, beautifully carved boxes in a chief's house. The chief was greedy and didn't want to share these wonders with anybody, not even his wife or daughter. Raven knew the chief kept the celestial lights all to himself and began plotting how he could take them away. Raven tried to get into the chief's big house, but was always caught before he could enter. Finally, he came up with a brilliant scheme for stealing the stars, moon, and sun. The chief's daughter was a lovely young woman, and the chief knew that soon she should be ready to have children of her own. This made him happy because he wanted grandchildren very badly, especially a grandson. One day, the daughter was gathering berries and got very thirsty. She found a nice creek flowing with fresh, cool water. Raven quietly followed her, and as she began to scoop up water with her cup, he quickly transformed himself into a small pine needle. Raven drifted into her cup, and the young woman swallowed him. Several months later, the chief's daughter gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. But what the chief and his family didn't know was that the baby was Raven. The chief was very happy and proud. He had always wanted a grandson. The baby cried a lot, but the chief was very patient. One day, the chief noticed the baby was pointing to the box with the stars in it. He cried and cried for it. Finally, the chief got the box of stars down to let his grandson play with it. Raven smiled and played with the box, and when the chief was not looking, Raven opened it. The stars flew out and up into the sky. Grandfather was not pleased to lose his stars to the sky, but his grandson was happy for a little while, and this made him happy. But eventually Raven began to cry again. He cried and cried and pointed to the box containing the moon. The chief remembered what happened the last time, but couldn't stand to see his grandson cry. So he handed him the box with the moon in it. The grandson smiled and played with the box. When the chief looked away, Raven opened the lid. The moon flew out and up into the sky. Raven loved making mischief, but he was growing tired of being a baby. He wanted to be a raven again. He missed his glorious feathers. He missed flying through the air, and he was getting really tired of the chief. But Raven waited because he was so curious about what was in the last box, the biggest box, the most beautiful of the three boxes. And so he began to cry. He cried and cried for days. The chief remembered what had happened with the moon and the stars, but he was sad to see his grandson crying. So he handed him the last box, the box containing the sun. Of course, the cunning raven was waiting for this moment. He opened the lid and freed the sun. What a beautiful sight! The sun flew out and up into the sky, and daylight came into the people's lives. Raven was very happy, and now that his curiosity was satisfied, he changed back into a raven. The chief 
saw the transformation and became very angry. He had been tricked. The chief closed the door to the house and trapped Raven inside. Raven knew the chief was bigger and stronger and would probably kill him. He flew around, frantically trying to find a way out. Finally, he spied a very small smoke hole in the ceiling. He flew up to it and squeezed through, and as he did, the black soot coated his feathers. Raven joyfully burst out into the light of day. Raven was very surprised to see that he was now completely black. From the tip of his claws to the end of his wings, every feather and even his beak were a beautiful shiny black. This was how Raven came to be black, as he remains to this day.